The Galaxy Evolution Explorer Galax is an orbiting ultraviolet space telescope launched on April 28, 2003, and operated until early 2012. History An air-launched Pegasus rocket placed the craft into a nearly circular orbit at an altitude of 697 km miles and an inclination to the Earth's equator of 29 degrees. The first observation was dedicated to the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia, being images in the constellation Hercules taken on May 21, 2003. This region was selected because it had been directly overhead the shuttle at the time of its last contact with the NASA Mission Control Center. After its primary mission of 29 months, observation operations were extended to almost nine years with NASA placing it into standby mode on 7 February 2012. NASA cut off financial support for operations of Galax in early February 2011 as it was ranked lower than other projects which were seeking a limited supply of funding. The mission's life cycle cost to NASA was $150.6 million. The California Institute of Technology negotiated to transfer control of Galax and its associated ground control equipment to the California Institute of Technology in keeping with the Stevenson-Widler Technology Innovation Act. Under this act, excess research equipment owned by the U.S. government can be transferred to educational institutions and nonprofit organizations. In May 2012, Galax operations were transferred to Caltech. On June 28, 2013, NASA decommissioned Galax. It is expected that the spacecraft will remain in orbit for at least 65 years before it will re enter the atmosphere. Topic. Science mission During its initial 29 month mission, which was extended, it made observations in ultraviolet wavelengths to measure the history of star formation in the universe 80% of the way back to the Big Bang. Since scientists believe the universe to be about 13.8 billion years old, the mission will study galaxies and stars across about 10 billion years of cosmic history. The spacecraft's mission is to observe hundreds of thousands of galaxies, with the goal of determining the distance of each galaxy from Earth and the rate of star formation in each galaxy. Near and far UV emissions as measured by Galax can indicate the presence of young stars, but may also originate from old stellar populations e SDB stars. Partnering with the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL on the mission are the California Institute of Technology, Orbital Sciences Corporation, University of California, Berkeley, Yonsei University, Johns Hopkins University, Columbia University, and Laboratoire d'Astrophysique de Marseille, France. The observatory participated in goals with Spitzer, Chandra, and Hubble. GOALS stands for Great Observatories All Sky LIRG Survey, and luminous infrared galaxies were studied at the multiple wavelengths allowed by the telescopes. Topic. Specifications The telescope has a 50 cm diameter aperture primary, in a Ritchie Schrutin F6 configuration. It can see light wavelengths from 135 nanometers to 280 nanometers, with a field of view of 1.2 degrees wide, larger than a full moon. It has gallium arsenide solar cells, which supply nearly 300 watts to the spacecraft. Topic: <laughs> Pre-launch images. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples of results. Topic. <laughs> See also Galax Arecibo SDSS Survey Arecibo Observatory Topic References Topic External Links Galax website by the California Institute of Technology Galax website by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory Galax Data Archive by the STSCI, MAST Galax View Search Tool by the STSCI, MAST Galax Ultraviolet Sky Survey at Wikiski.org <laughs>